Hello everybody, Iron Spider-Man here with another comic book video, of course. Today I'm going to be showing you guys um, my haul from my local Comic-Con that was the, uh, going on this past weekend. I'm local to the Pittsburgh area, and um, if you guys have seen a few of my videos already, um, Steel City Comic-Con, right in Monroeville. It goes on every April, August, and December. So I always go there, always get some good deals. And, um, yeah, let's just hop right into it. Um, as usual, I'm going to start with the most boring stuff first, and then get to the more exciting. First up was Deceased Number 4, the horror, the movie horror variant. Um, my shop didn't have any of these left when I got there, so I just picked that up there. It was cover price. Got nothing too exciting. Iron Man 11. And I just... Um, I, I got this with a couple other books from one vendor, but uh, he only had 20 bucks on it. It's in a Mylar bag and board. Very few imperfections on this book. Not really sure. I mean, I thought it was kind of cheap. I mean, the colors are great. Again, just like that corner there and then up here were the only problems I could see with it. But, um, yeah, just beautiful book. Big Iron Man fan, um, almost as much as I am a Spider-Man fan. And I actually, um, with Iron Man, I completed everything from the mid-330s to current. So I'm just working backwards now. I'm just working on Volume 1 books. Iron Man 15. Again, this is another one that, I mean, I'm pretty sure this one's just perfect. This I might send off to get graded, because literally the only problem, if you'll focus, is right there. The, like, smear, and maybe a spine tick there. But the white is still very clean. Corners are maybe a little dull, but still pretty sharp. Again, ignore all the prices you see on these books. I didn't get, um, or I didn't pay full price for anything. Iron Man 41. Again, just beautiful colors. And then... This is just, um, some back issue fillers for Iron Man 245. 251, 306, 309, 314, and 323. Those are all just fillers. I paid like two bucks a piece for them. Okay. Now... Um, wasn't a huge haul, so we're getting towards the end of the video. As you guys know, I always try to end these on a Spider-Man note. So again, also with my Spider-Man run, amazing Spider-Man run, I completed everything from Volume 2 and on, and then I have, I think, about 158 books of Volume 1. They're all kind of scattered throughout, but so I'm just working on Volume 1 of Amazing Spider-Man, and Iron Man, um, so I'm just, you know, picking up back issues wherever I can for a decent price, and these all were, these were all like three bucks, Amazing Spider-Man 330, 345, and I think, I think he had it marked that this was the first full appearance of Cletus Cassidy, or cameo, I, I'm not sure, I know 344 is the one that's more expensive, but... That. 348. And this was just a really nice variant I liked. Um, again, I got this in a group with the early Iron Mans and um, a couple of these Spidey back issues from one seller that I buy from all the time. So I just really liked that cover. Amazing Spider Man 546. The, this is the Brian Hitch variant. Really liked it. It was like $8 or something. 
Um, Ends of the Earth, this is Amazing Spider-Man 667, the Delato variant. Um, really love this cover. I got this, and I think I have one other Delato variant. But um, I want to try and complete all the Delato covers that were like this with Ends of the Earth. And all of the, like, villain covers from... It was like the 620s and 630s. It showed like the new, like the new Craven, the new Lizard, but like had the in the background was like the old original Amazing Spider-Man cover. So I just really love that. And then Amazing Spider-Man 25. This is from Volume Four. Um, just the the Campbell exclusive variant. Spider Gwen, Black Cat, Mary Jane. Just really love that cover. Okay, now. We get on to the really fun stuff. Okay, so I got Amazing Spider-Man 196, CGC 9.6. Beautiful cover. It's uh, the death of Aunt May. Um, it was faked. It is also the first appearance of Deborah Whitman. And um, I kind of like Deborah Whitman till like, they had that whole, like, she's insane storyline. But... Even still, it's a beautiful cover. I love how it's like a blue background with the red popping. Um, it was 60 bucks. I thought maybe that was a little high, but I looked on eBay and some other places, and they were selling lesser grades for more than that. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'll take, I'll take it. 60 bucks, and again, just fills in my collection a little more. So really happy to get that. Now. I have two more CGC Spider-Mans here. I'm honestly not sure which one I'm more excited for. But I'll show you this one first because it costs less. Got Amazing Spider-Man 24 at a 7.5. Classic Ditko cover. Beautiful copy. I did not pay $250 for it. I paid, I think it was $230 for it. So I thought that was pretty decent, especially how old it is. Spidey goes mad. It's a uh, third appearance of Mysterio, which, I mean, after the first appearance, I don't really count that like a oh, big deal for second, third. I don't really care, but that's just me. Back cover. The last CGC Spider-Man book I have. I've been looking for this for a while. Amazing Spider-Man 121 and 8.0. I only paid four for this, not 450. Um, the death of Gwen Stacy, and if any of you have watched my previous videos, I think I've talked about it a few times, I'm a Gwen person, um, Mary Jane's okay, but I always thought she was second best, I always thought Gwen was the best girlfriend for Peter Parker, and so to have the story that, you know, really changed a lot in Spider-Man's life, because really up until this point, nothing really major happened in... Amazing Spider-Man, like, no one really died, no one, you know, nothing, like, too crazy happened. So, this was one where, uh, you know, Gwen dies, and it's Spider-Man's fault, which, you know, just adds more trauma to his character. So, yeah, really happy to have that. I, again, I don't know which one I'm more excited to have. I love both of these covers, both these books. So, I don't know. But, I'm um, a little more closer... Whoop. A little more closer to completing my Spider-Man run. And now, I don't have any more comics to show you, but I do have a couple figures. Now, um, in my, I think it was the last con video, I started getting into Mezco's. So I got the Mezco. This is the Vigilante Daredevil suit from Netflix. You can see there. Um, I really liked it. I saw some pictures online. Now, the guy had it at 125, and that's right about where they go for. But um, I know I've known him a long time. I've always buy stuff from him, and I asked him if he would do 100, and he said sure, only because of you. So, got. A, I think I lucked out on that. Then I got the regular Daredevil, also from the Netflix show. This is just the. Um, the red suit comes with the head, the chucks, and then a bunch of different hands. So yeah. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys, last Mezco, 
It's the Batman Beyond Mezco. Now, I don't know what it is with these smaller boxes, because the Daredevil Vigilante suit is this size box, but the red one's bigger. They just show pictures on the back. And I much rather see the figure and everything they come with. I don't know, that's just me. I, I do like the art here, but I don't know. It's like if Mezco, if you can make boxes these small, why would you make boxes that big? You know, like, look at that. I don't know, just my two cents on the matter. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, gonna hopefully have another video up for you soon, but that is my uh, August Steel City Comic Con haul, and I'll see you guys in the next video.